Hello and welcome back to Space Born 2. My name is Spanj. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for joining me. Last episode, I had all sorts of trouble with Drain repeatedly going on and on and on about I need three pilot squads and one dropship to complete the mission. Um, not very clear. I've dug into it. I've looked around. Uh, you guys have helped in the comments as well, but i have recording this before that video goes up. But I know that you guys will be helping in the comments, so... Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, it's really valuable. It's helping me really learn this game as quickly as I can. Um, I know it can be a bit frustrating when I uh, when I have no idea what the hell I'm doing and you're probably yelling at the screen, so I really appreciate your patience with me and hanging out with me and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, we figured it out. <clears throat> Drain has shut the F up. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so what we have is we have the operations tab here, as we know. Now, integration station is our target. Okay, this is the station that we want to... Um, now, I'd prefer to take it over, but they want to destroy it. Okay. Um, this is what the... the we, went, we sort of studied this a little bit before, but before we go into that, what I also found was that we needed to add one more squadron. So, I think Drain was saying we needed three pilot squadrons, which we had, and one dropship. What's not clear is that the dropship is actually ground forces. We just needed a fourth squadron set to ground forces. That was it. That's all it was. But the way that Drain worded it, it was so confusing. Um, once I added that in there, she then continued the tutorial and we got through it. So this is where we go then into uh, the operation. Um, target and then we open a, a tactics here and then we've got three phases of play so very easily i think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to attack the turrets in force we're then going to um, go to the next phase we're going to move two squadrons over to attack the barracks one to reinforce one to attack the third to go attack the shield this is really quite hard to do this uh, map thing is not the best and um, then we're going to next phase that. And then we're going to take the dropship into the center here. Drop that. And we're going to get the fighters to lay siege to it. And this is all covered in the tutorial. Uh, basically, this is the exact sort of tactics that they tell you to do in the tutorial. And there we go. So you can, you can simulate that. They'll all come in here. Then they'll split up like that. And then they'll all converge in the middle there at the end um so then what we can do is we can say execute and then of course it says is tactic set true is executed well it is now so we we meet with the army of the escape route in hestod 16 which um they just happen to be in right now <laughs> The only thing I, I haven't done is perhaps um, upgrade my ship a little bit more. Unfortunately, I spend most of my time just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. So escape route is there. We're going to head over there. Uh, so I don't know how this is going to go. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm hoping that we don't actually have to do too much. And that you know we're, we'll run basically a support role like, like we have done before. But let's find out. All right, here they all are, look. Excellent. Right. Hey, guys. How's it going? The last time I did this, um, these guys didn't come with me. I warped into the sector myself. So I'm not sure how to tell them to warp. I don't have a squadron. So I'm hoping we just warp, right? But let me have a little explore here. Because I've got fighters down here. It doesn't look like I can do anything with them. Calibration Let's hope that the army follow me in because I don't see any way to otherwise order them to, to come in with me. Um, let me just double check some stuff here. It is executed. We are in battle now. Let's hope that the game just brings them with me, right? That's a good sign. <laughs> That's a very good sign. Okay, this is going to be hot. We're doing it. Guys, this is our first sector that we're going to be conquering. This is pretty awesome. Here we go. All right. Well, fourth time is always the charm, guys, isn't it? All right. So. 
We need turret quarters. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Let's get involved. Oh, yep. Yeah. A lot of guns on, that, on those stations. Right, one down. There's a lot of them here. Hoping for a little bit more backup from my own fighters. Fine. Target destroyed. It's fine. Here we go. There are my boys. Get involved with those guys. Let's go. It is on. Finally, <laughs> a little bit of a false start, but it's on. Okay, I've got a lot of people right behind me. Hang on, let me just turn around a second here. Let's go, people. Have another one. Right. Almost captured this area. Well, the blue bar on the turret quarters is nearly filled all the way. There's only a few fighters left. So I think if we maybe mop up here, maybe we'll be okay. I'm not sure my weapon can hit him from here. Lovely. Shield quarters are phase two. Let's go. I'm going to go to shield quarters because the majority of my guys are going to the other one. Guys? Guys? Phase two? Phase two? I'm the only one going over here. This is really bad. <laughs> this is not good. Uh... We need help at shield quarters. Hold control. Plus middle mouse. Boom. We're losing product rocks. Need help. There we go. Now we got some backup. This is going to be a tough fight, actually, because there's only one squadron coming over here with me. Hey, I need to use my battle engine to get in there nice and quick. Oh, shitload of them just moved out. Fine by us. We'll capture this nice and easy then. Are oh, they going to the turret quarters? Uh, incoming. Yeah, we have fighters. We need help at turret quarters. Turret quarters is being captured. Hey, right, target. Get smooshed. Let's smoosh you. We're losing power drops. Need help. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Oh, yes. That's what I like a double kill. That's beautiful. Target shields down. Overpowering that. Target destroyed. All right. One more. Two more. That one's miles away. Where's the other one? Perry Quarters, in theory, should be able to deal with itself. You would have thought, you know? 
That guy is so far away, I can't even lock onto him. Plus two fame, plus two fame. I like that. Lovely, shield quarters is captured. We just need to capture this. Wait, I thought this was shield quarters. We need help at two quarters. Yeah, we should be fine. Sweet. Moving on to the next step. We need to go to... Did that actually take? I don't think it did, did it? Proceeding to the next step. Here we go. Dropping soldiers to the main building. Charging drive. <laughs> Missile lock. I'd like to see that. <laughs> Jesus, four kilometers away. That came out really far away. We're going to have to get in there. It's uh, power to engines. Here we go. Let's split things up a little bit. Here we go. Creation station. Dropships on the other side. Get in there and help them. We need help at two quarters. Landing gear retracted. We need help at two quarters. Well, they just dropped dead. Uh, yay! <laughs> it's so random. <laughs> My only option is to destroy. We should capture it, guys. Population, 166. Wow. Uh, hope, support, reputation. All down by destroying it. But we get a load of fame, raw materials, technology, and 16,000 treasure. But the other two options are grayed out. We place the explosives at the station. It will explode in help Everyone, exit the domain! We need help at shield quarters! Engine module offline. I gotta watch this. Gonna drift away. 45 seconds. Oh, boom. Yeah. Blammer! <laughs> Smashed. Operation complete. Although, like, the little escort patrol ships have come back in. Extra XR fighter. Ooh, man. Debris. Debris! Oh, i got to go check this out. Gotta have a look at what my handiwork has resulted in. That is a one F dump station. And did a thing. <laughs> nice. Come to the headquarters now. Brain's gone crazy. Everyone on the station. We have got all that early escape. We don't know what will happen. But if you don't come soon. Okay. What the yeah. fuck was that? What the fuck was that? I am not sure. I could only tell that train had gone mad. And that coal that Elysia had managed to escape from there. We better go to HQ right away. Right away. Okay, we go to HQ right away. Okay, here we go. Uh, right, 121, was it? 1212? Nope. 121, Etox. Etox system, set route. Can do that, sorry. The other way to do that is do the contracts fixing up uh, step route from there. Okay. Welcome back to HQ, everybody. Oh, there's blood. Oh, there's blood. There's bodies. There's more bodies and more blood. Brain is just sat in the corner. Mulling things over. 
Don't have many members, Drain. You just murdered I a bunch of them. Didn't. Drain, what the fuck? I didn't do that. You said that already. Now explain what happened here. I told you. I told you I feel like I'm not alone in this body. Uh, yes, robot. Just take a deep Come breath. On. Tell me take what happened. Deep breath. <laughs> yes, robot. We were talking here about new revolutions with civilians. Someone made a recommendation on building robot factories. Before he could even finish his sentence, my body took control and ripped his head from his body. Then, there were those who tried to stop me, and... You see the result. It's not your fault, like you said, you were no longer in control of your body. Uh, Drain, I'm sorry, but we need to decommission you. Hmm. <laughs> I'm very tempted to just decommission the fucking crazy robot. I gotta be. I gotta say, she's not been useful this entire time. This is my fault. I should have known better to trust the machine. Hmm. Yep. Decommission time. You're right. You know there is only one solution for that. It would be best if you shut me down. <laughs> yeah. No one would want Drain enough to be here more than I do, but he has many supporters from the Earth. Drain's death could weaken the organization. We must find another way. Anyway, oh, wow, I didn't expect that. What matters is what we do now. Wow, okay. So this is a tragedy. We can all agree on that, but we can't do anything about it now. Given the absence of any witnesses, let's clean up for the time being. Add devise a story to seal the entire incident. We will explain the situation to the members of the organization. I apologize. We will need to explain the situation to the members of the organization and ensure that Drain is tried in a fair court. <laughs> nah, that's a toughie actually. Cover up, come clean, or try try the robot. I'm thinking we try the robot. It's on the path of justice, and if the trial is fair, then they will deem that she's malfunctioning and 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 and, and fix her. Surely that's got to be an option. Fix her, you know. Take it, uh, take it back to that robot guy that we we had on the first episode, and put him put her in a different freaking mech. Come on, really? Explaining this to everyone brings the organization irrevocably discredited. It is hard to predict how the Earthlings will react to this, but it is the right thing to do. In my opinion, bothering it up also puts us on the same level as our adversaries. Oh yeah. That's what leaders do, when necessary. You must sacrifice a battalion of soldiers for two boxes of ammunition. If you lack the courage to do so, go perform some trade ship protection job or anything. <laughs> I, got, I do like money. <laughs> He's a nutter. We will clean this up and devise a story to conceal the entire incident. That is my final decision. We'll explain the situation and and have Drain prosecuted. That is my final decision. Yeah. I, got, I have faith in the members that they... We'll see that as us being truthful and honest and just. Not sneaky, lying, or incompetent, you know? As you wish, I will deal with that. Now let's find out how to fix that robot. Spend something to do with the new exoskeleton. Let's find out a guy who fixed Drain and ask him where he got it from. Um, or I could ask for advice. Yeah, I mean, it's obvious. We go get a... Do you remember who gave you this body in the first place? I don't know. Drain already had this body when you found me. I remember him. His name was Smen, and he was at Sonic Station. Smen. Let's get going there. Sorry. I apologize to all of you for this disgusting situation I have caused. I will never forgive myself. Damn right. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> she went absolute. I thought we were just stood in bodies during that entire conversation. Never mind that there are headless, decapitated, bloodied corpses all over our HQ now. Which is just great. It's a real positive working environment we've got here, isn't it? <laughs> this organization is the best. Oh my god. I tell you, going down the chaos route, it is absolute easy mode. Going down any can anything else? That is like 
there's some real moral and, and, and ethical dilemmas that the game throws at you. I absolutely think that's brilliant. Absolutely great. Um, but yeah, it does obviously, it requires some thought and stuff like that, which is why I went with what I did, because obviously we've chosen a justice route, and I think taking Drain through a justice system is the best thing to do. Anyway, it could be that you could say, well, we should have had a her, had the robot suit tested or something. I don't know. Whatever. The, the situation's happened now. Let us deal with it as best we can. Hiding the truth isn't helping anyone. Let's go. Back to Sonic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Land Sonic Station. Deployed. Well, this is uh, last from the past, isn't it? It was like ages since we were here last. Gotta say, I've come a long... Ah, bollocks. Wrong button. I keep confusing N and R and G for some reason. Exit and take off. Exit. Alright, we need to go and find um, Smen. Let's go. Here he is. Smen. Hello, my friend. It's good to see you. What can I do for you? Where did you find Drain's Why? body? What is happening? My body operates independently of my brain. We must ascertain the origin of this skin. This is impossible. This model was made by M-Tech, and M-Tech products are immune to such issues. No, of course not. Just shot, that's all. Look, I found it in a junkyard, but it doesn't help you. You need to go to a M-Tech factory and follow the product's history. Where can I find an M-Tech factory? Even if we find an M-Tech factory, do they provide the product history upon request? Do you, as a technician, know what might be causing this? The body circuits and the mind circuits converge. The mind gives a command and the body executes this command. But I guess in your case the body is misinterpreting the commands. So the brain says lift this box as if the body is throwing that box into the air. But in order to be sure, it's essential to know when and how the previous time mind body integration was done. Uh, even if we find the factory, all over the galaxy, you can easily find them, but they may not help you. My brother is a manager at the M Tech factory. I will direct you to him. He will assist you. Lovely, thank you. You can find him at the M Tech factory in the Al Swan system. I'll call him now and let him know you're coming. Nice. Let's get going then. Okay, now we are evens, men. You're going to pay me ten thousand TY for the problems you caused us. I don't think it was really his fault, um, but I will say that there are. We're, we're even now. There's no. There's no debt between us. Not that there yes, was. Yes, we are. Good luck. Thanks, men. I think maybe. Why is there? I thought that was blood. More kind of like just oil or something. Um, let's check some stuff here. While I'm here, it's always good to check I do you know what? I wish I did something when I was at the station was search for crates I didn't even bloody occur to me I doubt there was any but you know you never know you blow a crap load of ships and oh look at that thing it's a uh, level 8 tier 4 machine gun yes very nice you can get some pretty good weapons just here in the market it's always good to like just check I'm not really into um weapons at the moment my ground weapons are fine I, I'm not really going up against ground targets that have any challenge whatsoever. Now, space targets, completely different set. Uh, kettle of fish here. So, um, we could look at this. We've got the pulse lasers here at the moment, right? Now, we're running beams. Beams have, obviously, a much higher fire rate because there's a constant, you know, it's 7 ticks per second or 4.56 per second on one of these. Whereas the fire rate of the pulse lasers are 2.8 ticks per second. But it does 378 base damage per tick, so it's definitely more than what my current laser is. So, um, yeah, it's possible that I should probably switch over. But I've got a level 11 uh, stellar beam in my primary laser slot at the moment. And this is a level 11 Komatsu pulse. I don't think there's going to be much in the two, to be honest. Might be worth considering going over to another burst, because I'm still rocking level 7 burst guns. Um, and obviously the level 11 ones, they do a little bit more damage. Base damage on this one, for example, is a, is a 409. Slightly slower fire rate, of course, but yeah, much higher. Whew, much higher firepower. Now, if I, the problem is I need two of these Gatlings. So I need that Guncher Gatling there and this Maltech Gatling if I was to buy them both at the same place. This Maltech only does 404. 
Um, and it's at a slower fire rate, so its, it's DPS is much lower. Um, but yeah, I need to have a little look through this stuff and really spend some time just comparing and stuff after I go. I'm interested in the shotguns, I really am. Because I think we, we pretty much get up close and personal to most targets, like a lot of the time. And if you shotguns, obviously, being up close and, close and t uh, personal, those shotguns are going to really absolutely do their best. But it also limits your options, you know? Um, Trust me when I say that the best pilots in the industry are available. I'm not talking to them. <laughs> I'm not talking to them. They'll just give me a freaking request from so and so or just go through that horrible mission again with the whole unmarked space station stuff. Anyway, yeah, I think shotguns will just limit your, your options. Your flexibility won't be the same. I can't go out that way. That sucks. Anyway, let's um, let's get over to this factory. Let's see if we can fix drain. Let's go. All right, here we are. We are at an M Tech factory. We need to talk to Wern. Burn, 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 burn. I'm assuming we just press that and it teleports us in. Nice. This is one wire ass factory. This is. Mm, cool. Oh, that is Bert. Where? Welcome. Welcome. I was expecting you. Sven told me about your situation. Can you explain when Drain is in the, Drain is in this situation? The androids produced in this factory are flawless. Yeah. But the recipients can make changes on the codes of them. You sure? In such cases, the brain body command system can be disrupted. My guess is that the previous owner of your friend's body programmed it out of factory settings. Is this fixable? I'm not sure. First of all, we need to find out what operations are done on it. Um, why don't we just find another this body? This is the worst case scenario. Coordinating the brain and body is hard. But if there are no other options, you can try this way. Okay, can you find a previous owner? I can't it, but I can show you how you can. Oh my god. Our jurisdiction is limited. Therefore, we cannot declassify private customer information. Bullshit. You're the GDPR this, nonsense. You must go to the main server and log in via the console and follow the footprint of the product code. My god. Where can we find these servers? This is the tricky part. The servers are heavily guarded that you can't even come close to one AU. But luckily one of our server providers was secretly sold to the Decker group a while ago and is still active. <laughs> if you go to the Dakar hideout, only a few Dakar members will try to stop you. System security cannot interfere with this. Mm. When the area is cleared, you get off your ship and connect to the server as an admin and access the product history. But of course you need the model ID for that. I will find it for you and let you know as soon as possible. Okay. At the Dakar hideout location to our scanner, and we will be on our way. I added the location. Good luck. I'm sorry, this is a bullshit customer service here right now. That's garbage. Can you just frickin' format C and reinstall the operating system, honestly? SFC scan now? Huh? No? Drain's got some frickin' malware in it, that's what that is. And some bit defender on this bloody robot. Let's go! All right. Hey, Colin, what are you doing here? No need for aggressive action. We just need an information from the Intech server. Who told you there is a server here? Well, it won't matter once you die anyway. Squad one, get ready for action. Yeah, but 11, this guy's going to be a little bit tough. All right. Alright. Wasn't too bad, but my shields are already at half. Right, and I'm only running them at low power at the moment, but still. Get killed. Get deaded. Get out. Shields are down, but there's only one left now. I'm 
on his six. Have a missile, buddy. And get dead. All right. Squad two and four, undock your ships now. Wait, I'm not ready. No, I'm not ready. God damn it. Ah, oh, crap. Oh my god, there's loads of them. I have no shields right now. <laughs> this is not good. Alright, everything is boosted. Not good, not good. Hello? Engine module offline. Engine module online. I don't know what's going on. I can't I can't move anymore. What the hell? Weapons online. I've got like free cam or something set up. I don't know what's going on. Engine module offline. There we go. I'm free, I think. Oh my god, it took so much damage. What the hell was that? I'm gonna need to use um, emergency repairs. Right, I don't know what I did. I hit something and it just basically completely took the freaking controls away from me. Every key does something, so you know you never know what you're freaking hit by accident, and suddenly the ship doesn't move anymore. <laughs> what? Oh, health is already down a half again already. This is not working out. Nope. I gotta get. I gotta bug out for a bit. Get shields redone, re up again. I got a reasonably good. Um, Needs to sleep caught up quick. This is where having um, a squadron around me might be useful. And you're a bit outgunned. Target destroyed. One more left. My God. I hope there's not another bloody squad after this, otherwise Engine I am screwed. Target destroyed. Right. Damn, do you realize how much these destroyed ships cost? If you want something done right, you will do it yourself. Wait there, I'm coming for you. Oh god. I want this pod. You bastard. Heavy fighter. Great. I got no missiles left. Right. Maximum weapon power. Son of a bastard. That was a missile hit. That took a big chunk of my shields. Engine module 
Die, you absolute beast. Oh, that is some freaking heavy Target fire right destroyed. there. Boom. Yeah, absolutely beamed. Ouch. <laughs> I found the product ID of Drain. It oh, good. is 177168. Note that to somewhere. Right on time. Now leave your one seven seven one six eight by hand. That was a tough fight, guys. I was rather outgunned there, but using all my perks and a lot of my consumables, we managed to do it. All right, let's get the hell out of the ship. Yeah. Okay. Here we go again. Help. Okay, we need to log in as an admin, I guess. So. Good. The product ID was one seven seven one six eight. Just literally look at it as an admin. <laughs> Find. Right. Model found. Sold at. That number, market ID, new owner, Jan Der. Jan Der. Right, enter locate command to find first delivery address. Okay, so is it location and th and then the model ID or locate? You found it. Locate. Great. <laughs> Mirren Planet, in Arath system. Let's go there. Zars. Nine nine eight. Okay. No, we got some decent stuff there, actually. We got a shield boost. We got a torpedo set. That would have been useful for that big ship, torpedoes. We got a pistol, shield booster, damage booster, new Omnifera weapon system, and an engine burster. Suit, all kind of tier one stuff, but there we go. And we got a captive. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and here we are. We are on the surface at Jen's cave. <laughs> This is, uh, this will be fine. Don't worry about it. Jen's cave will be a lovely hole in the ground. It'll be a warm, enticing environment filled with chocolates and, and lovely decorations and loot. Hell yes. Lots of ammo. Visitors, ah, I haven't had flesh visitor in a long time. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. Jen, there's no need to shout, you crazy bastard. I'm just going to um, be armed here. The game gave me a lot of ammunition in the beginning here, so. The red barrel might explode, but clearly not. Why can't I see? Why is it all blurry? I got some kind of like countermeasures or something? What the devil is with the blurry camera? I need to just zoom out. Yeah. Stop zooming in so much, maybe. Oh, nothing up here. What the devil? Find Jen. The beginning sense that the sniper scope would lose focus the more you zoom it in. This is so stupid. I'm already guessing at headshots here, I tell you. Like robots or something. Got an idea that Jen programmed uh, Drain's body to be a combat android like these guys. And then killed it, threw it on the junk heap. Smen picked it up. Plugged Drain into it. And then uh, wondered why it went berserk. Yep. Here we go. The loot. I see more loot down there. I see. I can't tell because I have a sniper rifle that I can't use. <laughs> Zoom in. 
Alright, let's get down there. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time! Why is he Finally, shouting? I'll get a chance to see what this gadget is capable of! Stop Don't shouting. Don't worry, you will not die quickly! Just stop shouting. Why have you put me on the ground? It seems unnecessarily cruel. I'm on the ground. Oh my god. Not good. Not good. Your gadget I sucks, dude. That cage. Talk with Momo. He said anything about freeing you. <laughs> A great another robot. <laughs> really? Shit. He. Well. That's right. What? Um. Who? Why were you in the cage? was forcing me to do his mechanical work. You want me up here so I couldn't Is that an Australian robot? Crikey. My friend's exoskeleton body was replaced recently by an associate. He said that he acquired it from a droid that works here, and now something's wrong with yeah, him. Wrong. Define wrong. Uh, minor glitch, just seemed to lose control of his body from time to time. Then he lost all control of his body and slaughtered everyone around him. <laughs> not good at all. But maybe <laughs> I can help you with that. Oh, thanks. Right by an awful with his mechanical design. And okay. Policy. Maybe by examining your friend I can find out what's wrong with him. How do you examine me? Don't worry. I'll do a simple operation. <laughs> you won't feel anything. You won't feel a thing. You this a this will just sting a little. Here. We have a ship. Really? Ship? Here. Wow. That's great. This robot's going to steal our ship. Let me ask you what I should have asked you in the first place. Who are you? Uh, we are just a small organization with a broken friend. Small organization called WRM. Oh, for fuck's sake, Drain! World Resistance Army. So that makes you the son of the commander. I did not expect that. How does that make me the son of the commander? If you're done with your questions, can you examine <laughs> me now? Let's get out of here first. Add me your two. I can help you with many things. Wow, this, ro this robot is horny. Uh, we can talk when we get out. Yes, of it. let's talk that when we reach our HQ. Oh, I don't know if taking you back to HQ is a good idea, Drain. Okay, let's get going. Good. Can I have that? Can I have this? I mean, it's pretty cool. I'm sure it could be repaired, and then we could use it in our army. Big mechanoid thing. No? Just me. Alright. Son of a... <laughs> Are these all the android robot mannequins that he has lined up here? Um... Well, things have just gotten really spicy. <laughs> nice. In conclusion, Jen was a dick. All right, welcome back to HQ. Let's see what we have to say here then. So this is your headquarters, huh? It's not what I expected. Anyway, thank you for rescuing me from that psychopath and bringing me back to your home. Can you tell us again why you were in a cage? He was keeping me captive, forcing me to do his mechanical work. Lovely. What is Drain's I've status? Identified the source of the issue. I've made a temporary bypass for now. I need to work on it further for a permanent solution. Okay. Uh, what do you know about I've us? I've heard different stories from different people. Uh, tell us what you can. From what I see, you only use fighter class ships. I can offer you bigger ships. Ooh. I can also assist you on the field. I have served on space missions for a long time. I've conducted spacewalks. I am proficient in the ship's drone systems. 
If you give me the authority on the ship, I can neutralize any enemy drones in the area. That sounds good. Sounds freaking great. Something? Why do we suddenly trust this robot so much to bring it into our meetings? How do we know it won't leak information to the outside? Molex, don't you understand that we have lost everything we had? We need many skilled individuals to regain our strength. With the ships we have, we can only loot outposts at most. We need more. Yes, we need Momo and have faith in him. Molex is right. You shouldn't be at this meeting, at least for the time being. You are dismissed. <laughs> Let's give him a chance, more like If he makes the slightest suspicious move, I'll take care of him myself. I hate these soulless robots too. Let's tie him up and force, force him to labor for us. <laughs> what are these options? Let's give him a Thank chance. You. I will not let you down. You will not Good let choice. us down. I believe he will help us a lot. Indeed. Somebody needs to mod Momo with, with the voice of Slaptrap. <laughs> I think you are making wrong and emotional decisions. Oh, thanks, Moyax. Now that we have concluded this, we can now return to our main agenda. Yay! We can't stay in this cave forever. I think it is the time for us to come to the surface. Uh, we must set up our station immediately. This place is getting more dangerous with each passing day. Every day, dozens of ships land on this planet where there is no life in it. Soon, this may catch someone's attention. We require competent constructors. They will construct and enhance stations and cities on our behalf. Without their expertise, even if we manage to capture a station, we lack the personnel to repair and fortify it effectively. I agree. Finding individuals to work on construction projects is easy. But we need someone with expertise in constructing new buildings. <laughs> Experience can do it. Be. Jack. Jack. Jack's father used to work at WRA Jack's great. and had been training him since he was three years old. I last saw him when he was 11, but even then, he was producing great work. What do we know about we Jack? We don't know him very well, but I do know that his father was capable of great work. After all, he was his father's apprentice, so I'm confident that he is both a loyal citizen and a successful contractor. Where can we find Jack? I can track him down if you'd like. How long will it take? I'm not sure, but I can send out a broadcast to the entire galaxy. I'm confident we'll receive a response in no time. Okay, do okay. it. Okay. I'll send out the broadcast to the entire galaxy right away. I believe we'll find a clue in a short amount of time. Lovely. So, what do we plan to do about Momo? Mimit. In Mimit. my opinion, we should enlist him. He can provide us with an advantage, especially against drones. I agree. Fighting against drone ships can be very nerve-wracking. By giving Momo some authority, we'll strengthen our hand in these battles. I would like to see all of his capabilities, so I'm thinking making him my co-pilot. Let's give him a chance and have him assigned as my second-in-command while on board. As you wish. As you wish. So for now, our only course of action is to wait until we locate Jack's whereabouts. Pretty much. Well, I mean... That's, that's not the only course of action. The other course of action is to go out and do stuff to earn money. Uh, yeah, I mean, at the moment we've got... Okay, some of my mail uh, missions are being successful. So I am getting... like There was one, but basically... Uh, freelance mission success, success. These are all the freelancers that I've got. They go off and do stuff and things like that. Now, I've set up under the Constitution here. This was not explained in the tutorial at all. <laughs> we had that meeting where we suggest we said our organization would be justice based. Apparently it's leaning towards order, which is ridiculous, but alright. Um all of this was set to zero, basically. All of that was set to zero, all of this was set to never harm, blah 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 blah. All of that so I've set this up here at Under Constitution. I've um set a daily tax rate of five percent, ten on businesses, a loot cut of five percent. It's not a lot, and hopefully it won't impact um the loyalty of people and, and to be fair my loyalty is is really good on these guys so it's great uh but i'm getting a trickling in a trickle down income from these guys basically from taxes and, and cuts and stuff like that it's not a lot 
not enough to run the entire faction on, but for now, it's just a little bit of something uh, while we get set up and stuff like that. But yeah, this constitution tab here. <laughs> what? <laughs> not explained whatsoever. So yeah, good to know about. I think a couple of you guys pointed that out as well in the chat. Thank you very much. Okay, so what I'm doing down here is we've got like levels, low level stuff, like level four here, and I'm just sending out a couple of my freelance um, members for the faction, like the T agent, which is level 14 pilot now, and Burrow, who's a level 13 pilot. So they should be pretty, pretty good at this stuff. Um, and each time they succeed, then, um, you know, I get more people join the organization. So I do need more, obviously, uh, trained pilots here. I've got a couple. I don't know why this one. Bebet is on research. I keep setting him surface missions, but just resets back to that. Uh, so, yeah. It seems to have actually st stuck this time, which is just, just perfect. Make me out to be a liar. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, one other thing as well is the adventuring uh, experience is really hard to, to sort of level up, as you guys pointed out. I should have, in my first set of points here, put them in towards intelligence. And this particular perk here, uh, every time you gain experience from another class, it adds experience to the adventure class by plus 10% from the gained experience. So yeah, uh, that was unfortunate. But I am now working towards that particular perk. I only need three more points, and I can get it. And that will help a level up adventurer. For now, I just need to go out and do some probing and some mining and stuff. And that should do that. And we'll maybe cover that in the next one. Uh, for now, we got another perk here for reflexes. Might put another one in alertness. So we got another perk that we can have. Increased damage bonus for all weapon types. I think, to be honest, that is where we're going to be going. Or... Decrease the heat rate of weapons by 25%, increase cooldown speed by 15%. I mean, that just keeps us shooting for longer. So let's just get this one for now. Tier 1. Extra 20% damage on our weapon systems. Excellent stuff. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, I hope you're still enjoying Spaceborn playthrough here. Next episode, I plan on going out and doing a little bit of freelance work. We've got a number of guilds that we're member to uh, members of. Freelance Guild is ready to rank up. Talk to the Guild Register to take that next rank. So I think we'll probably go and have a look at that because that will get us access to the Freelancers Market. Um, and we can have a look at some of the cool stuff that we might be able to buy there. So, yeah. Um, we've also got Mercenary Guild, Bounty Hunters Guild, the Miners Guild, and the Explorers Guild. We are, all mem we are a member of all of them now. So obviously looking at the, the, the XP for these, it's kind of rubbish. Um, so... <laughs> We might do some bounty hunting uh, and see if we can get some access to their um, their market as well. And mercenary market would be good for ground-based weapons. Although, as you saw, our ground-based weapons still seem to absolutely kick ass. So, all good. Um, thank you very, again for watching. And hopefully, I will see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.